Here are three amazing puzzles that you can use in your D&D campaign that will leave your players scratching their heads. The first one being something that I like to call the Battle of Fates. As you and your players battle through a dungeon, you eventually find yourselves in a room that is very clearly trapped. However, the door behind you has magically disappeared. All that remains in the room is a magical construct in front of you that is designed to look like the Reaper of Death, who tells you all that it is time to meet your fate. However, being merciful, it will let you choose the way that you die with this statement. Speak for the lie and you'll die by the fire. Truth and you'll drown as the water climbs higher. You and your party must now discuss and decide on a statement that you can say that will avoid either of these two conditions. The immediate answer would be to say that you're going to die by the fire, as that would be a lie. But as the reaper tries to execute you by fire, it becomes suddenly truth and causes a contradiction, which the reaper will allow you to pass rather than have to deal with you. However, there are several other ways that you can get through this puzzle, and if you really just want to muscle your way through it, your DM can allow you to fight the construct, but it being the reaper of death may prove to be a a little difficult. Next up for number two is one of my personal favorites, a little puzzle that I like to call the Gentleman's Mirror. As you and your party venture through an abandoned keep that once belonged to an ancient archmage, you find a door that behind it you hope to find a ton of loot. However, as you swing open the door, you find that the entirety of its frame is blocked by a mirror. Inscribed along the edges of the mirror, it says that only the selfless and blind to vanity may enter. Surprisingly, as you go to inspect the mirror more closely, you touch it and find that it's not actually cold, but rather warm to the touch as you're reflection is touching you back. And with every move you try to make attempting to enter into the mirror, your reflection completely blocks you. There are several ways to solve this puzzle, including bowing to your reflection and say after you, to which it will do the same and you will be free to pass. You can also try to go invisible or cast darkness on the mirror to allow you to go through the reflection, if your DM will allow it. There are honestly a ton of ways to solve this puzzle, which are what make it so fun, but this next puzzle is really out of the box. Our final puzzle is one of my personal favorites and something that I like to call the Unseen Wall. You and your party are going through a dungeon belonging to a madman who was convinced that reality wasn't real and was trying to escape to a different dimension. After venturing through the entirety of the dungeon, you enter into the final room, which you presume to be where all the loot is being kept. However, as you enter into the room, you find that it is empty, very clearly trapped, and that there are no doors aside from the one that you just entered from. However, at the very center of the room are a couple of sledgehammers and a plaque that reads, Break through this false world to set yourself free. Not all walls that bind us are ones you can see. Upon closer inspection, as you look around the room, you find that the walls are actually numbered. One, two, three, and the wall behind you being number four. And in true alignment with the owner of this dungeon who believed that reality was fake, the only way to get through this puzzle is to break through the fourth wall. And should your players break through walls one, two, or three, there are plenty of monsters waiting to fight them. So have fun with these puzzles. If you've got some favorites, leave them down below. And until next time, keep questing.